Good afternoon everyone. This is Pradeep from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate different tips and tricks of how to search on Windows system. This would be a task of everyone, must be doing it every day. But the problem is how to do an effective search. Because normally what people do is they just go to Windows Explorer. In the search bar, they put in the query that they want to search and then they get the result. But at times, there must be a situation where you have got plenty of results and in such circumstances, searching amongst those results is again a second challenge. Now here, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do an effective search and how to refine your result. Before we go ahead, I would like to tell you that these search techniques have been tried on Windows 7, Windows 8 and 8.1. I'm not sure if these techniques will work in any of the previous version. You may give it a try on your own. So let's go ahead and understand different search techniques in Windows 8.1. First of all, I'll have to go to Windows Explorer. I'm pressing Windows E to open Windows Explorer and I want to search the result in the entire computer. So what I'll do, I'll have to select this PC. Now this PC will select all the drives that I have and search will be done on all the drives simultaneously. Now here let's say I am searching for a word Excel in my computer. To my surprise I see that there are 6576 results. Now you must be wondering I have got an instant result. When I typed Excel it didn't take even a second to display the result. If you want to increase the speed of your search in Windows you must keep all the drives indexed. Now how to index all the drives? If you're using Windows 8.1 option is pretty simple. You have to just go to advanced options and select the option change index locations and click on modify. When you click on modify here you can select the drives and the programs that you want to index. Now you will see that I have selected my drives non-software OS that is C drive, D drive and E drive. All the drives are indexed which increases the speed of your search result. If you want to do it in Windows 7 then you will have to perform the following steps. In Windows 7 you will have to go to control panel and in control panel you have the option which says indexing option. At times you will see a view like this then it will be difficult for you to locate this option. In that case just switch this view by to large icons and there you get the option indexing option. When you click on that you get the same screen that we have just now seen. So make sure that you keep this indexing on to do a faster search. Now coming back to the search techniques. See here when I search for Excel you will see that I've got 6500 result. Now the problem is such a huge number of result will create a challenge for me to locate or to search amongst these result options. Now why do we get such a large number of result? This we get because this Excel word is being matched in the name of the file, name of the folder or within the content of that file or within the properties. Now if you look at this result here I have got the word Excel in the name of the file. That Excel word is also there in the properties and also there in the content of this file. And that's the reason this result has come up on the screen. You may even come across certain result where Excel is nowhere written and still we are getting that result. If you look at this file, here Excel word is nowhere seen. But it might be there somewhere in the content of the file and that is the reason we are getting this file. So how do we refine these results? In order to refine these results, we will have to use certain keywords. Now here I am interested in locating the files which has the word Excel written in the name. So here it's very simple. We'll add a keyword name colon Excel. Now you will see that the result that was approximately 6500 has gone down to 1600. So there's a drastic reduction in the number of search result. And now you will see all the file that has word Excel written in the name are listed. But 
the problem is it also has certain folders and there could be two choices either I'm only looking for folder or I'm looking for files let's say I'm looking only for folder in that case the another keyword is kind now this kind is a very good keyword now you will see that there are several options available so if I'm not searching for any file but only folder I'll select this option that says folder but let's say I am searching for only files and I want to remove all the folders from the search result I'll go to documents now when I go to documents you will see all the folders have been removed and I am left only with word excel powerpoint text file pdf file and the document related result now you will see from 6500 my result has got, gone down to 547 further to that let's say I'm only interested in looking for the file which are ppt or powerpoint file for that I can even type the extension that is type colon ppt now for excel 2003 and the previous version the extension is ppt so I have 67 result but let's assume that I'm looking for 2007 file then I can even type pptx so now this will only search for powerpoint 2007 and later versions so it's your choice whether you write ppt or pptx now you will see that my result are only 47 further to that I feel that the size of the file is somewhere greater than 5 MB. I'm now going to type a keyword size colon greater than 5 MB. You will see all the files which are listed here have the size more than 5 MB. Now my search result has gone down to 34. Now let's assume that I have worked upon this file in the last six months. So what I can do is I can now type the keyword date modified colon now there, these are two different keywords one is date modified and the other one is date created as the name suggests date modified will only search for those files which were modified within, within this range it doesn't matter when they were created but if you talk about date created it will only focus on the files that were created within the range that you specify so it is always better to go ahead and look for date modified because whenever you have created it doesn't matter uh, you must have modified it at least once and it will get you the file within that range but if you want to be precise you can even go ahead with date created i want to search for files which were created within the last six months so i'll just select any two date here i need to be sure whether my system works on ddmmyy or mmddyy so I see that today is 6th of January, so it is DDMMYY. So I'm going to just change this year and month in this date range. So I just type uh, 1st June 2014 till date how many files were created. Now you will see that the files that were created within this range is only one. So people see how have I reduced 6500 result to one result of course in real life scenario this could be very rare that you can reduce from 6000 file to only single file but people look at using these keywords and techniques you can really do an effective search now let me show you certain other ways of using the same keyword that I have used just now let me tell you one real life problem that I have faced once I was looking for a file which was created last week on Monday I didn't remember which file was that was it a word file or PDF file or PowerPoint file but I knew that that file was modified on the last Monday so what I did was I just selected uh, uh, use the keyword date modified colon and I selected the date of last Monday and now you will see it will bring up all the files and folders which were created or modified on that particular day or you may even specify a week so I want to see what all files have I worked upon uh, in the last week I can select the date range like this now also let's assume that I have seen a video few days back but I do not remember the name of that video so generally what we do is we we type the extension of that file whether that was MOV 
or that was WMV video or MP4 video. I really don't remember, but it was a video that I have seen in the last uh, two or three months. So what I can do is here, I have one more option, one keyword, which is kind colon. And now you will see here, we have plenty of options. Amongst those options, I have an option of video. Now you will be surprised to see that when I use this kind colon video keyword, it will bring all the videos which I have on my system. Now here, it doesn't look only for one particular extension, but it looks for all different possible extensions of a video like MP4, WMV, then we have any other video format which I may have on my system. It will locate all those video formats and bring it here. Similarly, if I'm looking for any music or any uh, audio file, then I just have to type music. That's it. Kind colon equal to music. And you will see that all audio files are listed here. Now, it doesn't matter whether those are WAV file or MP3 file or MP4 file. It is going to bring all of them up. So this is the way we can actually do an effective search. And let's assume that I want to see a video file that I have seen in the last month. So it's very simple. Again, date modified colon. I'll select the entire month of December. And here I type kind colon video. See, so these are the videos that I've seen in the last month. Isn't that very simple people? So this way we have different keywords to focus our search result. I hope you must have liked it. And if you've really enjoyed the video, please do share the video. If you have any comments or if you have any improvements or suggestions for me, please do not hesitate to mention that. Thank you very much.